Hi guys and gals, Froggy here. I've, I made a video a couple of weeks ago about Blackstone Laboratories. They do oil analysis. And I took a sample on my Z06 Corvette and I got the results back. Um, now I want to just talk with you and tell you a few things about um, the results. The, they all came back very good. I've got 55,000 miles on the motor. Um, I run it hard, but I keep it. Uh, I keep the oil changed, and I use high quality oil, and it's running great. Uh, the report. This is the report, um, and I hope I've got this framed good. I tried as best I can. I've got it lit up good. Everything that has an A next to it is most likely an additive, although some of them could be components of metal parts in the engine, but mostly they're additives. This one down here, uh, zinc and phosphorus, you may be familiar with uh, a lot of information has been on the internet about ZDDP. ZDDP. It's an additive in, in pretty much all motor oils. Uh, that has been reduced because uh, the government said it shortens up the life of catalytic converters. So they want the catalytic converters to last longer so they make the oil manufacturers put less of this in. Unfortunately that's not good for your engine. Uh, but the government doesn't care how long your engine lasts. They just want your engine to pollute less. So that's a whole other argument. I'm not going to get into it. But anyway, all the ones with A's, Molly, Molly B. Dinum, forgive me for mispronouncing that, Molybdenum, I think it's Molybdenum, Manganese, Titanium, Potassium, Boron, Sodium, Calcium, Magnesium, Phosphorus and Zinc we already talked about, and Barium. Those can all vary from the universal averages depending on what motor oil was put in into the car and sent for sampling uh, so those will vary somebody uses a detergent motor oil versus a synthetic uh, mobile one versus uh, castor oil or whatever um, those numbers will be different because each oil has an additive package that they put in that can be different um, the ones that make a difference to how your engine is wearing and the parts of your engine. Aluminum comes, comes from pistons, bearings, heads, or blocks. Chromium usually from rings. Iron, cylinders, rotating shaft. Copper, brass or bronze pot, parts, bearings. Lead from bearings, tin from bearings. Uh, nickel from cylinder plating. Uh, silver is a trace element, can come from bearings. Silicone can be just plain old dirt that's getting past your air filter. Uh, down below here, we've got viscosities at 210F and at 100C. Now, they give you here the values should be in between these numbers, and all mine are in between those numbers. Flashpoint, uh, synthetic oil is going to be higher than non-synthetic oil, but it gives you um, a number it should be greater than uh, 360 in this case. Fuel, if you've got fuel in your oil, it's diluting your oil, that's not a good thing. Uh, it could be coming from a lot of blow-by, or it could be somewhere, something else, I don't know, mostly blow-by I think. Antifreeze could be a head gasket if you have antifreeze in your oil. Water, same thing, could be a head gasket. So, just wanted to show you a little bit um, of what I found out. I called the company and went over the report with them a little bit. The universal averages over here, that's for a particular engine. It's not the universal averages of every engine that's ever been made on the planet. Mine is an LS6 engine, so the universal average is there are 332 tests done on LS6 engines, which 
I actually thought it was a little bit low. I, the LS6 engine is a pretty popular engine, but if you had an LS1 engine, this number of tests would probably be much higher because there's more not Z06 engines than there are Z06 engines. That's an LS6 motor Z06. So that's what the universal averages are for your motor. The averages, when you do your first test, they're all going to be the same. That test divided by one equals the average but then if you have subsequent subsequent tests on the same motor this will show you the average of all the tests um, it said a great first report for your Corvette uh, I went a little longer the average oil change interval for all these tests was 3,900 miles and I went 7,000 you know, some of you guys do the really frequent 3,000 mile oil changes. I think it's a waste of money, but it's your money, so go ahead if you want to do that. I'm going to actually, uh, I've been doing 5,000 mile oil changes. This was seven and everything was good. So I may, you know, sometimes I do 4,000 mile oil change, but now I'm going to wait till at least five or 6,000 miles before I do an oil change. Oh, by the way, my oil change indicator in the car, a 2004 Corvette, was down to like 1% of your oil life is left. So it starts at 100% when you do a new oil change, you do a reset, and it's 100% oil life that you have in the motor. And it goes down 90, 80, 70, 60, whatever, depending on how many, how often you use it, how hard you rev it. Um, there's a whole algorithm, a formula that GM uses. It's pretty good, I think. Um, but mine said my oil was used up, but according to this test, it was not at all used up. Uh, so that's good. I mean, that means that the GM algorithm for oil life is on the conservative side, which is a good thing. But don't get panicky if it says, you know, 20%, 10%, 5%. probably still okay. Uh, what else? Uh, I had 55,000 miles on the car when I did it, end of October, and really that's about it. Um, I probably won't do this every oil change. I might do it every other or every third oil change. Uh, but it's Blackstone Laboratories. Uh, they uh, did a very good job. It's 25 bucks. Um, we're done with this, so I'll show you the kit. This is the kit they send you. They sent me some extra ones. This can go in the mail. If the post office says you can't do it, they're wrong. You can you can send it. It's not hazardous. It goes in here. Then it's like double bagged. It goes in here. And then I put a box around it too, so it's like triple. Um, make sure you fill out all the information that they need. And uh, give it a try if you want to see how your motor is doing. Um, this is a very, really... In addition to you know, a leak down test or a, a compression test or um, a lot of different things you can do to check out a motor, but this is like a blood test for your car, basically. Um, I uh, I'm pretty pleased with the, how I spent my 25 bucks. It's a good peace of mind. It means that uh, everything's good inside that motor. So that's what Froggy wanted to share with you today. Um, I hope uh, you find it useful. If you do, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. It's still free, so uh, check it out. Uh, see you later, guys and gals. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.